Hi, in this video I'm going to be comparing the blood pressure measurement on the fitness tracker. This happens to be a Fitfort. This is a fitness tracker you get on Amazon. And as they say over here, it measures blood pressure. Now, I would like to compare it to a standalone blood pressure device. So here it is. This happens to be called the Medinox MX blood pressure monitor. I'm going to take three readings on the Fitfort or on the fitness tracker. And I'm going to take three readings on this particular blood pressure device okay so I've set it up now uh, here is the cuff now one of the reasons why blood pressure measurement is often inaccurate is because the cuff size is incorrect uh, many times you'll go to the hospital or the clinic and they don't have stock of the correct cuff size and they end up putting on an extra large cuff on a small arm very important to match the correct cuff size to the arm this seems to be a medium I suppose I could use a large but this is fine and the uh, pipe comes there and your arm just stays in a rested position just gentle breathing and I'm going to measure it three times and then I'm also going to measure it on the watch using the fitness tracker blood pressure measurement so I'm going to first start with the uh, portable device All right so 119 over 78 and let's do the fitness tracker. There we go. Okay, 125 over 65. Right, let's try again. Right, 120 over 79 and the fitness tracker. Now I'm going to measure the blood pressure again on someone else. She has low blood pressure or her blood pressure tends to be on the lower side. Okay, so that was 114 over 67 and now using the watch 120 over 59. Right, so here's the summary of the readings. All in all, it was six blood pressure readings. Uh, the first three was myself, and the next three, as I, as you saw, there was a lady whose uh, blood pressure I took. So there we go. Uh, the MX, that's the standalone device, the model BP101H. So the readings were 119 over 78, while the Fitfort Fitness Tracker gave me 125 over 65. Looking at the second reading, 120 over 79. Uh, these two are very close. And then 120 over 81. You can see that these are very close to each other. Now looking at the fit forward, we had 125 over 65, 121 over 63, and then 122 over 64. Uh, my only concern is if you look here, this is the um, diastolic 81 while here at 64. Diastolic here 79 while here at 63 so there seems to be lower readings here on the diastolic the systolic is quite well matched although this one was 125 and this one here was 119 uh, for if you're not familiar with the blood pressure uh, descriptions the systolic is the higher amount and the diastolic is the lower amount so you first have the systolic there we go 119 over the lower amount which is the diastolic okay then the second batch of measurements just these three over here now look at this slightly lower blood pressure as i did say this uh, lady has more on the low side so her uh, systolic was 114 over 67 while the fit fort said 120 over 59 now i do not think this is an accurate measure uh knowing the the blood pressure of this person and, and they also know their blood pressure they in the 110 range so this doesn't seem to be accurate 120 over 59 118 over 62 actually these are quite similar to each other even though it's a different person uh, i don't know if you noticed that while these are not that similar to each other look the systolic here 114 uh, then it went to 110 then it was at 109 while here on the fit fort it was 120 118 120 so this is a little bit suspicious for me uh, there's a little bit of a problem but on the diastolic side yes it did go down because look remember with me 65 63 64 well look at this 
59, but then we're getting a 62, and then we're getting a 59. Okay, so not very easy to analyze these results. Um, I think these are more accurate because I do know my blood pressure. My blood pressure is pretty close to 120 over 80, almost like a perfect blood pressure. Uh, so that is where I'm, I'm at. This, the uh, diastolic seems a bit low for me. I don't think I've ever had a blood pressure below 70 uh, in terms of the diastolic. So I don't think this is accurate. Right now, looking at the uh, the other readings, her readings are in this range. So this, the diastolic here, 59, 62, uh, 59. This seems to be more uh, accurate for her. Now let's I try to graph these. Now this is what I got. So this is the MX. This is the systolic and the diastolic. You see it's, it was 119 over 78. So if you look at the green, the first measure, and I've just changed the graph a little bit so that it's easier to read. Now look, there's the first measurement, the second measurement, the third measurement aligning to first, second, third. Now can you see there's my systolic 119 over 78. There it is. 119 over 78. There's my first measure. Whereas if you look at the fitness tracker, it's reading a bit high there, 125, but way too low, 65. Then if you look at the second measurement, they were quite matched, 120 over 79, while the uh, fitness tracker was 121 over 63. So can you see there, the fitness tracker is still too low on the diastolic. If you look here, it's still a bit low on the diastolic. Where if you look here on the third one, very well matched on the systolic, there, 120, 122, but look at the diastolic, 81, 64. And then the second set of readings, you can have a look. You can also see here a little bit uh, out of the range here, and then also out of the range on the diastolic. Okay, so overall, I found the uh, wrist measure to be less accurate. The standalone uh, cuff measurement with the uh, MX unit be more accurate while the fitness tracker look it's showing you probably it'll show you the trends and maybe if your blood pressure gets very high it will show it to you but remember this, that's not a medical device interpret the results with care thanks for watching and i hope this is helpful cheers